Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is add local offset? Let me go ahead and run through a quick little example here. I have my character. Right now I'm targeting the root object and I'm moving it 45 locally. Now the add local offset node is intended to allow us to move part of an actor, a scene component to be exact, and take the local orientation, rotation, scale, location, take all of its transform variables and add to it in its local coordinate system. Let me show you what I mean by that. Let me target the head here and just the head. And let me go ahead and run this. Now if we add 45 to the head, we're going to move just the head 45 degrees along its Y. I can always move 45 on the Z as well. Let's move it like 10. Yeah, let's move it like that. So it's just going to go up a little bit on the Z. Okay, so not a problem. Now, if we were to rotate our root object, let's take and rotate it by 90 degrees on the Z. Well, our item is still going to be in the same relative position because when we added this move, we added it in the local system right here, these local values, and we don't really have a rotational offset. It's all zeros, and this is our current location that we're adding to. So it's just going to make these numbers bigger. I can show you that. Look at our Z of currently 160. We'll hit enter, and now our Z is 170. Enter again, 180, and it would continue to go up. Let me go ahead and drop 30 off that to get his head back down. Okay, so here's his head down. Now this is what I mean by it's going to use the local system. Let's rotate just the head 90 degrees on the Z. Now you can't really see it because it's a cone. However, remember before when we moved 45 on the Y, we went along its arm. Now 45 on the Y is towards us. This item's rotated. Its local rotation is now 90 on the Z, which means its local Y has changed. And it's regardless of what the parent's information is. It's only in its local space here is it going to go ahead and add to the location. So that is what is important. The local offset node is not like the relative nodes. The local offset takes the local coordinate system of the item itself and does its math. The relative one takes the coordinate system of its parent and then does the math. So those are the two differences. Now for the local offset itself, if we did add local offset, we're not going to find it. It's going to require a scene component for its parent, for its target right here. And it's going to take in a delta location, sweep, and teleport for booleans. Right now I'm just feeding in values into the location itself, which is an XYZ vector. You can, of course, split it if you want and fit, put in individual values. For sweeping and teleporting, let's show them. Sweeping is simple. Basically, if we are moving this item, should we check for collisions? Now, my item is consisted of a few sub-objects, but I have a box collision around my middle item. Keep in mind, when you are sweeping a component, note this tooltip. It tells you it's only the parent, the root, basically, of the object that's actually swept and checked for blocking or collision. And that's important to note. So if I was to move this head, which is set up now currently, let's move it 45 on the Y, and we'll move it a bunch. And you'll notice it's now stuck, which is exactly what we wanted. Let's go ahead and move the, by stuck I mean if I keep hitting trying to move it, you'll see true here. The collision volume is being moved, and our sweep is returning a hit result, and it's blocking it, and we're printing out true. So that's what sweep is going to do. Basically, if collision is on, you want something stopped by a collision or trigger, such as walking through a volume, use sweep. Teleport is for physics. It's not going to be for things like your rope and uh, wires. It's going to be for things that have physics collision enabled. When you 
have this on, it basically will stop the physics velocity. See? So if we read this, if true, physics velocity for this object is unchanged. So ragdoll parts are not affected by change in location. If false, physics velocity is updated and ragdoll parts are affected. What that means is if you're using physics in ragdoll and you need to move a great distance and you don't want it to go crazy, check teleport. If you don't care, uncheck teleport. Simple as that. It has no effect if you're not using the ragdoll in physics because, well, it doesn't affect it. And that's it. That's going to wrap up the add local offset node. It targets a scene component, which is going to be part of your actor blueprint. It's going to have a location, a rotation, and a scale. It's going to be a transform, basically. We're going to give it a new delta location, so a new x, y, or z, which keep in mind, I didn't show it, but it can be a negative. If you're adding a negative, you're basically going to go the opposite direction. So we go left that time. So you're adding values to the current local coordinate system of this item. And you can sweep it or teleport it depending on if you want collisions and physics to work. And if you are sweeping for a collision, you get a hit result back out 